It's the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. It's time for the show. Pow. Aloha, heads, heads. Frankie Boy here in its review time today. We are looking at the most beautiful game I have played so far on the PlayStation VR. If you don't know from the title you clicked on, I'm talking about Moss from Polyar Games. What I thought would be eh, a childish game has turned out to be so much more. Now, before we get started, I did receive a review key for this one, but as always, my opinion cannot be purchased. Finally, if you would like to win some awesome Moss gear, click that link in the description. Now, on to the review. Your time has come at last, dear reader. But this story is not yours alone, no. It is tied to another. First up story, the entire time I was playing, I could not help but feel like I'd fallen headfirst into one of the Redwall books. The entire game takes place in a magnificent library. Uh, you start by flipping through some pages, and just like any great storybook, your imagination takes over, except this time you're in full control. Uh, you play the reader, and Quill, who just might be my favorite new PlayStation mascot, is your faithful rodent companion. Upon finding a mysterious object near home, actions are set into motion that will change Quill's life forever. You must embark on a quest to save both your lands and your uncle from an evil fiery serpent. With only a strange star thing to guide you, will you be victorious? Visuals. This one is jaw-dropping. The amount of time I spent just looking around, and it's sky, and blades of grass, and rooftops. There was just so many tiny little details you can get lost in. The world becomes a character as well. Now, I am playing on a PS4 Pro, and I never saw a single tear. Quill, in particular, almost feels lifelike. Everything is so well realized that it, it takes almost no effort to instantly become immersed in your surroundings. This is next level work, and I have yet to see a single game come close. This may really be the most beautiful VR game out there. Audio. It's perfect and changes with the environment. Quill squeaks and even has footsteps, which really just help pull the whole thing together. The music suits the mood and doesn't get all dramatic out of nowhere. It's just top notch and does a great job at placing you in the center of everything rather than just blasting at you from afar. So with your DualShock 4 in your hand, you control both the glowing orb with your light bar and quill with your left analog stick. The orb is used to manipulate some objects and enemies in the environment, and quill can both jump and attack. Oh, when outside of the library, which has you reading a skippable story, the game is really just a third-person platformer. It feels great, it works great, and it's a blast to solve all the puzzles. Uh, none of them were frustrating and most kept me on my toes. The combat is another major part of the gameplay and it is extremely satisfying, but can get a bit tricky at times. Your main attack is a sword slice and you can also give one up to use as an evade maneuver. Quill can take around four hits, but you can heal at any time by grabbing and pulling up on your little buddy. Each area is interconnected, and as you reach the edge of one section, the game fades out and places you on the next. It's not uncomfortable, and it's done with such grace that it hardly pulls you out of the immersion. It just feels like a blink. Now, the gameplay really is fantastic, and some of the areas took me a handful of times to complete. To top it all off, there are hidden scrolls around every level that, when all collected, create a picture back in the library. It, it's a fun way to spend more time with Quill, and some are even pretty hard to snack. Finally, even though I loved every second of the gameplay, it was the little things I found most endearing. Watching Quill roll up a cliff, or a look up when there's nowhere to jump as if to say, nah man, that ain't an option. It was a great way to create an emotional connection with a virtual character, and I gotta say, they sold me. I think my only real issue with the game is how sad I was to see it go. If rushed, you could probably clear this one in about two hours, but I think I took my time and clocked in right at around four, and I missed maybe one scroll. Verdict. 
Moss is a must buy, whether you have to wait until there's a sale or grab it for 30 bucks as soon as you're done watching this review, you need to experience it. This is a great one to share with anyone you know and I promise they will fall in love. The game is well made, the gameplay will keep you smiling and Quill will pull you right in. So. Score-wise, I am giving this one the coveted A+, with a big old Frankie seal of approval, must buy as soon as you can award. And maybe a little short, but at least it ain't repetitive, and you'll love every second in this fantastic virtual world. This one is gonna be a strong contender at award shows, just you wait and see. Your bond with Quill grows strong. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? So what you think? Gonna grab it, wait for a sale, or just forget about it? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for coming through. I hope you enjoyed the review. Hey, you can hit that thumbs up if you'd like, but more important than all of that is that if you want to stay up to date on everything PlayStation VR and you don't mind this ugly mug, freaking subscribe. I mean, come on. Smooches. Wash it off my seat. Wash now my mouth. 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 Wash now my seat.